Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking empty skincare. Now, I love doing empties videos. They are so satisfying, and I know you love watching them too. I've done so many throughout the years. I thought it was time to shake up the format a little bit. So today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the empty skincare, and I'm gonna be giving you my review, but I'm gonna be ranking the products with emojis so you can know exactly how I felt about every single product. If you're so ready, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So first up is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Now this is a hybrid cleanser and I really like this format so, so much because, you know, milk cleansers can really suit my skin. Um, I do have combination skin, but depending on the season or just where my skin is at, the imbalance within my skin can swing really heavily towards the dry side. And I am a Tretinoin user too. That's probably important information, right? So anyways, I can really deal with some dryness on my skin. Milk cleansers can really help with that. Um, they can really impart so much moisture. They're very comforting and nourishing for the skin. But sometimes, you know, certain milk cleansers I've used in the past have like left a film on my skin after rinsing it off. Or sometimes, you know, they just don't feel like they've really gotten in there and really cleaned my skin. Like I don't want to strip my skin. I don't want to dry it out. I don't want it to be squeaky. But like when I wash my skin at the end of the night, I want to feel like my skin is clean. You know what I'm saying? And nothing gives you that sensation like a foaming cleanser does. So I love that this is both. You know, you get that milky, nourishing, creamy, kind of calming sensation, but then it foams up and it actually cleans your skin effectively and rinses away without a film. Love, love, love. And for that beautiful mix of milk and foaming, I'm going to rate this with the star eyes emoji. This is the Bioderma Sensa Bio Wash Off Mask. And when I think about masking, I think about solving something on my skin quickly. Masks, sheet masks, they can do that very quickly for me. And so when my skin is feeling irritated, burning, stinging. That's when I'm reaching for this mask because this really delivers. So the texture is kind of like a cold cream type of texture. Bioderma is a French pharmacy brand, so it's not really focusing in on buttery, luxurious types of experiences or textures. There's no fragrance in here. Um, so it's just got a very straightforward kind of utilitarian type of cream texture. But once you get this onto your face, it just starts to like infuse into your skin. It just gives you this nice light layer of moisture that feels incredibly comforting. This instantly calms down my skin. It's that perfect marriage between that, that kind of creamy uh, consistency and then that anti-inflammation ingredient, that anti-itching um, irritation ingredient match made in heaven, at least for my skin. It always works. Um, I do not have a backup, so I'm a little bit concerned because <laughs> there's nothing else quite like this wash off mask. So I definitely uh, have an order in my future and this will be on it. And so I'm going to be ranking this one with the heart eyes emoji because like I said, it's not my first rodeo. I have loved all the bottles I've used of this and I will love all the bottles in my future. This is the Pixie Clarity Cleanser. This is actually an exfoliating face wash that uses salicylic acid. Acid. And so I actually, I don't use a lot of exfoliating cleansers on my face. Occasionally I do, but generally it just doesn't fit into my routine and the other products that I'm using. But I um, do tend to break out quite a bit on my chest and on my back and tops of my shoulders. So I always keep some type of exfoliating cleanser in the shower or on the side of my bathtub so that I can get some exfoliating action where I might be breaking out. So just so you know, that's how I, I used this product. And full disclosure, um, this is not empty. <laughs> this is about half, maybe a little less than half full, but I'm highly considering just chucking this. Um, number one, it smells really bad. Um, this does not, I don't believe that this has fragrance in it. Um, no artificial fragrance, no essential oils. However, there are so many stinking fragrant plant extracts in here. I don't know. I, they're not really claiming that it's fragrance free, but I don't know if they are. I don't know how they could ever get away with it. This has this smells like essential oils. It has that like woodsy, earthy, smoky, ambery kind of smell to it. There's actually a really heavy hit of like bitter almond in here as well. And so while they're not using the full on volatile oils, the essential oils, we're just like one step removed from that process. And so that's why it's getting such a strong smell. And I'm not opposed to scent in products. I don't usually use it because I have sensitive skin, especially for my face, my body, I can use some fragrance products. I'm not against smell in skincare. I don't like how this smells though. 
It's just so bizarre smelling to me. I don't know. But I don't think that this works very well either. Like I said, more than half the bottle I have used and I really don't think that this has been effective on my breakouts. Um, usually I'll use like a salicylic acid cleanser, or maybe like a glycolic acid cleanser, and it really helps to cut down on the breakouts. This has not been working for me. Um, the breakouts, especially on my chest, have not been going down when using this product. That's another reason why I'm like, I just don't know why I should even like tough it out and finish this, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, don't like the smell, don't like the performance. I don't like this product and I'm gonna rate it with the poop emoji. This is the Son Rev Tri Bio Treatment Essence. And this is using uh, three different types of fermented ingredients to really help bring out that healthy glow to your skin and impart all those vitamins and minerals and amino acids that you get with fermented ingredients. The ferments on here, although there are three different ones, I think it's Galactomyces, Bifida, and I think Saccharomyces ferment is in here. Um, I find the ferment on this to be very gentle. It actually doesn't have that that really thin type of texture. It doesn't have like a fermented yeasty kind of smell. It just doesn't have that type of texture. And while I like this, I did name this as a favorite back in 2022 in the springtime. It might have been April. I'm not sure um, about that time, though. Um, I really enjoy this. I do find this to be slower working on the skin. Um, I often talk about products where it's like you'll use it. You don't think it's doing anything. And then when you, you're like, whatever, forget about this you stop using it then you're like hey wait a second there was something happening there were benefits because they're going away now this is that type of product there's nothing wrong with it I just think it's good to know like to have expectations going into things and so this is very different um, but I know some people especially with sensitive skin super like fast charged like very fermented ingredients actually been, can be quite irritating to the skin so if you're somebody like that and you like gentle fermentations this is actually a gentle fermented essence so all um, my all-time favorite essence not necessarily but i do really enjoy this i'm glad i picked this up from soko glam because this is kind of like a more indie k-beauty brand i haven't seen them around a lot so i took a chance the bottle looked interesting the ingredients looked interesting and i was not disappointed with this so i'm going to rank this empty with a smile emoji this is the avene thermal water i don't find the thermal water to be like a, a necessary step in my skincare routine like if i could only like if it was like oh you're in a desert island and you can only bring certain skincare products what would you choose i have to say like thermal water would not be part of those picks but I do like having them on hand they can they can be very handy um, and I have to say I don't find a huge difference between the different brands I use La Roche Posay a lot um, this one's different this is from Avene but it's not different <laughs> they're all the same to me um, and they all perform the same and so don't misunderstand my ranking here because I want to um, give this the yawn emoji. It's not because it's bad. It's not because it's not useful. It's not because I don't want to use this anymore. It's just I don't really have anything else to say about it. <laughs> um, convenient, handy, nice to have, not necessary. And um, for a lot of people, probably kind of boring. This is the Nasific Fresh Herb Bakuchiel Cleansing Oil. Now this was a January favorite of this year. So you know I love it. <laughs> you already know it's gonna be a positive review. I have finally finished it. It's kind of big. It's a 300 milliliter um, bottle of cleansing oil. I don't use it every single day, but I use it mo many multiple times a week. And so from basically like the December until about the end of May, um, is how long this lasted for me. I might have used a balm cleanser and some other stuff in between, but um, I would say you could probably get a solid like three to four months out of this for sure, if not longer. Really good value in this bottle. Now, why was it a favorite in January? Because it has that rare texture of a cleansing oil that I love. I flip out over this texture. It's that thin, watery oil texture. Why do I like that so much? I just find it, um, A, it's different, but I find it actually really effective for popping those grits out of my skin. What are grits? Okay, dried um, dried up little bits of sebum. I have very congestion prone skin. Um, a lot of stuff likes to get stuck in my pores and when the sebum dries up, it gets kind of hard. And so if you've ever like, like um, oil cleansed your face or just washed your face and you felt like little sandy type of particles, those are like, congratulations, 
congratulations, you just got your first grit. Those are the hardened bits of sebum kind of popping out of your pores. And so they sit pretty close to the surface and um, really light textured cleansing oils can help to, to pop them out. Like, like attracts like, so a little bit of oil cleanser can really help to draw out the excessive um, bits within our pores, but they do have to be pretty close to the surface. So is it giving you that really deep down um, pore cleansing? Probably not. Is it giving you a satisfying experience? Absolutely. And like, I'd rather have them out than in, if you know what I mean. My only thing about this and the texture and the performance outweighs this, it's not a deal breaker. It's a little filmy after washing it off. I still feel a little bit of that residue on my skin. I do uh, the double cleansing method. So I follow up with another cleanser, no big deal. It goes away right after that. I like to mention it though. Um, so all that being said, love, 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 a little bit rare in the texture. So if you really appreciate that, look into this one. Really, really nice. And I'm going to rank this with a, a sunglasses emoji. Super duper cool because it's a little bit different. You know what I mean? It offers something that other cleansing oils don't really do. And I feel like a boss cleaning my face with this because it uh, really helps to clean those pores out unlike other cleansing oils. This is the Mary and May Blackberry Complex Cream Essence. And I originally bought this because I wanted to to specifically do a comparison between this and the Dr. Serical Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence um, because you can't see it now, but like they literally look the exact same way. They're like in similar packaging. The cap is the same. It's like, what the heck? They're both like bi-phase essence. They have that like hydrating portion at the bottom and that creamy portion at the top. You get to mix them together. Super fun skin entertainment, right? We get the best of both worlds. It's hydrating, it's moisturizing, blah, 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 right? Okay, cool. Um, so I kind of bought it with with like a little bit of an attitude, I have to say, because I'm head over heels in love with the Dr. Serical. I have been for a few, like pretty much since it came out. Like, you know, as soon as I reviewed it, uh, it was like in every single skincare routine. Love, 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 love. Okay, so like I said, had a little bit of an attitude when I bought this, because I was just like, mm how is it ever possibly going to be better than Dr. Serical, right? So like right there, I would say like, let me rank this with kind of like a side eye emoji. <laughs> Just when I first started using it, I was like, I do think that this is a nice solid product. Um, I do think that it delivers on hydrating and moisturizing claims. I think it's beautiful. I think it's fun to use. And when I stopped when I stopped thinking about this as a comparison, right? When I stopped doing this or that, when I stopped thinking videos and just started using this, it really opened itself up to me and I really started to enjoy it a lot. Is it, again, is it better than Dr. Seracle? Am I gonna buy this more than Dr. Seracle? No, I don't think so. But like, maybe I might interchange them. Like, I do actually really enjoy this. Now you may be wondering what's the difference. If you don't wanna go back and watch those videos, it's okay. I would say Dr. Serical is just a little bit silkier, a little bit creamier, a little bit more moisturizing. And that just seems to really suit my skin. Um, all that being said though, this is really beautifully balancing hydrating, moisturizing in equal amounts, and maybe even slightly more hydrating than Dr. Seracol. For people who find Dr. Seracol to be slightly greasy, maybe give this one a go because I, I think it sidesteps that, right? I like that that extra richness to Dr. Seracol. This doesn't have it. Um, and so that doesn't make this bad. It just makes it different. And so I am no longer side eyeing this product. Um, I actually, you know what? I would probably give this a heart eye emoji now, because like I said, I finished it up. I really enjoyed using this. It's got a really nice balancing quality to it. And I can see this working for a lot of different skin types. So this is the Purito Dermide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack. And you may notice, um, if you're a fan of this product, this is the super duper old Old school packaging. They changed the packaging of this like legit two years ago. <laughs> you know what? It's actually not expired, but it's definitely been sitting for a while. And I was like, there's just no way I'm ever going to be able to use this up on my face. And so I made the proactive decision to um, use this and not waste it by using it on my hands. This is a dope hand cream. 
wow, you know, the texture of this is something that has made me like love this since it was first released because it's a creamy um, type of texture, a type of sleeping pack, but it doesn't have like a super occlusive feel to it. It doesn't have like a sticky quality to it. It's not thick. Um, and so it actually just sinks in the skin really, really nicely. It really softens the skin it moisturizes it, but it's not really heavy. But I also feel kind of like, cause there's other beneficial ingredients in here. It was actually better than just a regular hand lotion. It really helps strengthen my skin barrier help. I can get really itchy on my hands because they can get so dry. I am prone to eczema. So I wonder if that's like beginning stages of eczema wanting to come out is the itchiness in my hands. This really helps to relieve itch a little bit too in the long run, just because it is so jam packed full of great barrier supportive ingredients. So anyways, big fan of it. I like this new use for it. it may not be the most practical for everybody, but for me trying to keep up with all the skincare I have and use it up and be responsible about that. I am going to rate it with the money tongue emoji my own interpretation because it saved me money um, and it helped me use up this product. Neod Modulating Glucosoids, a long time favorite, not my first rodeo. <laughs> I've lost track of how many bottles that I've emptied, um, but it's been many, many, many bottles and I have many other bottles in backup because your girl stocked up on that Black Friday sale in November. I can't, I think I bought two or three. <laughs> Is actually a product that is multi-purpose so it can uh, immediately address irritation but it can also help to strengthen your skin over time helping to keep it more hydrated in the long run strengthening your skin's moisture barrier but it's also a protective um, a product that has a heavy focus on antioxidants antioxidants really help us face the world essentially it helps protect our skin from environmental stressors it helps protect our skin from damage from the sun, helps protect our skin from damaging inflammation. And that is like the hidden cause of aging that we don't always talk about. Inflammation can damage the skin so much and speed up the aging process on the skin. So this is an all in one, especially for somebody like me who has sensitive skin, I can um, be very dehydrated. My moisture barrier can sometimes be weak, but I also have well aging goals. This does it all. Okay. Um, so let's just rate it because you know I love it. Um, I'm going to give it the heart eyes emoji, right? <laughs> Obviously, I've used so many bottles. More bottles are in my future. Love, love, love. CeraVe moisturizing cream. How many tubes and tubs of this have I emptied uh, since 2018? Uh, who knows? <laughs> many, many, and there will be many more in my future. Quickly going to rate this with a heart eyes emoji. Stradia liquid gold quickly going to rate it with a heart eyes emoji because how many of these have I emptied since 2018? This has never been out of my skincare routine. And let me quickly tell you, I tried. This time, this empty, I tried to not buy it. <laughs> I tried to use something else in its place. And I was like, I'm irresponsible. I'm going to save money. I don't need to buy it right now. Yeah, no, it only lasted about three days. <laughs> And I put my order in. The Ordinary Bee Oil, quickly becoming a top favorite, like holy grail type of product for me. I've been using this oil a lot over the last like two years, I think it's been. And this is my favorite blend, especially for winter time. Um, it's very nourishing. It is comforting. It's soothing. It is uh, like skin barrier strengthening and super duper affordable. So just because of the affordability factor, I'm going to rate it with a star eyes emoji. This is the Biosense Squad. Lane Marine Algae Eye Cream. And this is a okay eye cream. Um, so this was, you know, full disclosure sent to me by the brand. And I do enjoy this eye cream, but it wasn't like a wow for me. Um, the texture is really nice because it's almost like a whipped uh, type of texture. So it doesn't have a dense cream quality to it. It's a little bit lighter and it does sink into um, my skin very nicely. Actually reminds me a lot, just texture wise, of the Mise Snail Repair Eye Cream. Um, that has such a lovely, quickly absorbed texture, and this is very similar, very light and airy. Um, but the reason why it was just okay, I love the texture, very, very nice, moisturizing, but I didn't really notice much benefits with this particular cream. The ingredients list isn't very interesting. There aren't really any um, intriguing active ingredients in here, um, and I didn't really notice anything in terms of like smoothing or plumping or helping just to make the eye area look more awake or refreshed or working on fine lines or anything. It just felt moisturizing. $56 for, like I said, not really impressive ingredients, not many actives. Uh, benefits wise, it was nourishing um, and moisturizing. And that's about 
it. So just because it's so pricey, um, I am going to rate it with the X eyes oh, emoji. This is the Snail Mucin Energy Essence from The Clog. Now, this is um, a really, really generous bottle of Snail Mucin. This is 100 milliliter, um, which is the same amount as the famous Cosrx Snail Mucin. And I always find that that lasts me for like four months, sometimes even five months with regular use. And this lasted me a really long time too. So I love the value of this. Um, it's, I think, 90% Snail Mucin, but there's also some Fido Mucin in here, some Yamroot extra extract and you know that I have been geeking out over phytomucin over the last couple of months it's basically just think about it like a vegan um, uh, alternative to snail it has a lot of similar properties heals the skin hydrates the skin acts as an antioxidant has well aging benefits plumps up the skin and then we have uh, alongside of snail as well so I really like the combination I think it makes this one slightly different um, it has that plumping hydrating kind of balancing feel to it but it almost has like a little extra plump like a little extra body, like a little extra bounce to it that I really, really appreciate. And like I said, it's a good value. Um, it makes me geek out about ingredients. And so, yeah, super love it. I actually do have a backup of this. I've been using a lot of snail and phytomucin lately, so this will probably get back in rotation somewhat soon. Um, but I'm going to rate this with the sunglasses cool emoji because like I said, the ingredients here, that combination very, very cool. Purito Germide Relief Barrier Moisturizer. This is a ceramides cholesterol fatty acids based moisturizer. It's all about making your skin barrier really strong and it has everything I love about a moisturizer. Okay, ingredients, yes you know, check texture, medium weight. Um, it sinks into the skin, moisturizes inside, not on top, meaning that you're going to get that comfort and nourishment, but you're not going to get that heavy oppressive layer on top of your skin. That's like greasy and shiny and just doesn't feel like it absorbs. Um, this has just a really pleasing, pleasing texture to it. And it is actually quite healing. It's very comforting. I use this up in the winter. Um, I had like a, like a couple pumps of it left. It didn't quite make the very last empties video but this was like I think this was the very first empty right after that video um so I've been waiting a while to tell you about this and I have to say I think I've done this a disservice because I kind of forgot about it <laughs> for a while um and I feel like this needs more attention you know what I'm saying this this moisturizer needs to be better known um I think it can play right up there alongside Iliune and Estra which are other ceramide favorites like K Beauty wide uh favorites right this period retail moisturizer needs to be mentioned along with those names because it's just as good. I am ranking this with a star eyes emoji because this exceeded all expectations. It's amazing. This is the Estera Ado Barrier 365 Cream. And you know I love this. Um, as soon as I bought this and I used this, I fell in love with it because it reminds me of the old school Illy Yoon. And like I said, uh, the Purito Dermine Moisturizer, very similar to this one. Ceramized cholesterol fatty acids, strength your barrier moisturizes inside doesn't overwhelm the top doesn't feel greasy and rich at the top it um, actually has a nice neutral finish to it loved it the only complaint that I have about this one um, and it's it's not gonna pull down the rating whatsoever it's just the size is 80 milliliter of moisturizer it's a normal size moisturizer but I'm always comparing it to like Iliune which is like 200 milliliter milliliter of product uh, Ilion lasts me so long. This, I was so surprised how quickly I emptied it. And um, this is pretty popular and um, it's not super duper cheap. Let's put it that way. I think I paid about $20, $25 for this. Uh, you might be able to get it cheaper other places, but Ilion is consistently like $12 for twice as much product. So that's my only like thing about this one versus Ilion. But otherwise, love it. Gonna rank it heart eyes emoji. This is the first aid beauty hydrating eye cream. And I enjoyed this. Um, I actually, I use this a lot. I was using it last summer and then it kind of fell to the wayside. I had a a little less than half of the tube left and then I just picked it back up again in the last couple of months and uh, I remember why I liked it last year when I started using it again because it uh, has a really nice texture it's a little different it's 
uh, you know, it's like a gel cream type of texture. It's not super creamy or lotiony, and it's not full on gel. It's a little bit of both. It's very hydrating. And I think that's really what it's claiming to do. It's just hyaluronic acid really meant to plump up the skin. And that's what it does. It plumps. And when for me, for my under eye, if I can plump it, that helps to smooth it, which helps with the appearance of any kind of like fine lines that I may have. But I didn't see any meaningful differences using this with fine lines and wrinkles. And as I'm getting further into my 30s, I have to tell you, that like that's a bigger concern with for me with eye care products right I really want us to have those active ingredients that are going to help stimulate collagen and this just doesn't really have that so um, I enjoyed it for the hydration and for the plumping and the light moisturization that this brings it, it works really nicely underneath makeup I can't fault it too much because it's nice um, but it's not something I see myself using again because it just doesn't really fit my goals and so I'm gonna rate this with a smile emoji this is the skin 100 for Hialuceica Water Fit Sunscreen. This is SPF 50 plus PA plus four. Um, I love this sunscreen. You know I love it. And like, I started using the sunscreen last year when it was first released and I loved it. I gave it a very favorable review, loved it. I found myself after a couple of months, like uh, closer to the end of fall and, and into winter, I was reaching for this so much. Uh, I keep a basket of sunscreen right on my counter of like all my favorites that I'm choosing from to keep things simple and to remind myself to put it on. And I just was like, always grabbing for this one, always grabbing for this one. What should I wear to this one, this one, this one. It's effortless is the word that comes to mind for the sunscreen and me um, because it is effortless. I had to really sit down and think like, why do I like this so much? Why is this like the only sunscreen I want to wear? Like what's going on here? And it, it is because it always works. The texture, it's not so moisturizing and so creamy that it feels heavy on certain occasions. It's not so light to the point where I'm wondering, is this even protecting my skin? It's just the perfect um, texture. It's not overwhelming. It's not greasy. It doesn't leave my skin like weirdly shiny where I have to do something else in order to make it presentable. You know what I'm saying? It just blends into my skin. There's no white cast. It doesn't build up in my eyebrows. No matter how many layers I put on, it doesn't pill. It works underneath makeup. Um, you know what I mean? Like besides the fact that it's not water resistant, that aside, it's perfect. It always feels comfortable and I have sensitive skin and my skin can sometimes be more sensitive my skin can sometimes be more dry can sometimes be more dehydrated like my skin fluctuates a lot and so that means that sometimes my um, go-to products will fluctuate with my skin this always works this is my everyday type of sunscreen and I have many backups right now. <laughs> um, I already, I opened my uh, other backup of this and then I have a backup of the backup. So definitely gonna write this a heart eyes emoji. I think that we have something that is entering into holy grail status at this point. I think it's safe to say that. I hope you enjoyed that new ranking style with my empties. Let me know if you wanna continue with this style in future empties videos. And let me know what you've emptied recently in the comments. Now, if you love the video, it was super fun for you but you haven't hit subscribe yet please you watch this whole video that is rare on youtube i would love it if you would come join our community and hit subscribe we love k-beauty we love sensitive skincare we love skincare um so join the community hit subscribe and maybe turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop when i post the new videos or shorts i'm very active on youtube every single week I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. And I love you so much. Thanks for being here with me today. Thanks for enjoying the empties videos just as much as I do. I'll talk to you soon.